Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to make up some special deer burger with bacon and Vidalia onion. So y'all stay tuned. Yeah, so today I got a big chunk of venison thawed out. My brother puts up, you know, he puts his venison up in like, I mean, head size pieces. You know, he doesn't have a lot of time when he's up there at camp, get it all packed up. And when he gets home, I guess he's really tired. He tosses it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. Of course, he wants to freeze burn. So we would keep going through stuff he gives us and we're, we're thankful to have it. Um, but, you know, if it starts to see any little signs of freezer burn that's when i have to take it out and do something with it uh, i'm sure you a lot of you guys if you're deer hunters been there done that so that's why we're going to make up this big batch today it's going to be just fine to refreeze that meat uh, when it's all back together i've never had any issue at all um, as long as you keep your stuff you know clean and cold when you're uh when you're making that burger and remember to cook that you know to cook that burger especially the ones that's been refrozen um to an adequate temperature and it, i've put this in the um the freezer to get it very cold you don't have to cube with my grinder anything as long as it'll fit down that hole and it's reasonably soft I got about a 50-50 load up here on the tray, and you're probably not going to be able to hear anything I say when I crank this bad boy up. I did have my head in the freezer, the, the grinder head, so it's nice and cold. And I got the coarse plate. We're going to go and feed one deer, and about the same amount of fat through each time. Some of that fat's pretty hard, so it does grunt on it a little bit. Well, uh, this come off the ribeyes, I'm sure. Here is a whole Vidalia onion that I've run through the food processor. I put in a tablespoon, the last uh, second whizzed it with a tablespoon of kosher sea salt. I put it in a wire uh, strainer over a bowl and there's about a quarter cup of the onion juice that's come out of there. And we do this to, to, uh, to take that moisture out. You don't want your, uh, your burger to get soupy and I'll actually just kind of press it a little more with one of these uh, silicone spatulas and get as much of the water out of those onions. They've been sitting in there for about 20 minutes. You could leave them sitting there for probably a couple hours, help even more. But you want it to be like a, you know, still have a little texture to it, but getting most of that moisture, moisture out of them. And it's still dripping, so we'll give it a few more minutes and then we're gonna incorporate that and mix this all together. We're gonna hold off on the onions right now. I don't want to cr crush those down anymore. Because next uh, thing we need to do is just incorporate the bacon with the burger kind of evenly. Because we got to run this back through the grinder one more time to make it burger. Right now it's just kind of chopped <laughs> with that coarse plate. But that, that doing that first really, really helps um, get a consistent texture throughout your burger. So we got that all mixed up there now. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll start loading it back up on the grinder over here in about uh, balls like that and um, grind it down fine with the fine plate. All right, let's start running through the second time. I usually can do this without my press by just kind of forming little small 
chunks with my fingers and letting them drop. We'll see how it goes today. If you're interested in this limb big bite grinder, you can find it right on our Amazon store. Yeah, we didn't get too far before we had to give her a little feed. But already got kind of sticky down in the tube there. kind of toss them in there and uh, you know you could sit here with this little spatula probably for about six months and get those incorporated but we're just gonna go in with our hands it's like making a sausage baby all right and that'll let you see you know better how you're getting them in there hi guys so that was pretty successful didn't take very long uh, that smells awesome. I can't wait to start grilling those guys up. So we're going to do them on a sportsman's grill. I did get about, uh, I think we had about eight pounds. I got about maybe three pounds for dinner tonight. And rest of it was vacuum pack back in the freezer. Uh, so that'll be great for future, future projects. But uh, right now, let's go ahead and get the sportsman's grill ready. Hey, and I'm going to make some homemade uh, buns for those burgers also. All right, we're going to go out to the special rising room and look at the buns that are rising for the second time right now. They're right there in the Dutch oven <laughs> on top of the on top of the grill. Man, they smell awesome. They actually might be getting a little too hot right there. Ah, that's pretty fine. Optimal rising temperature, about 100 degrees. It's, uh, it's November here, but it's still freaking hot. Folks, so we got the Sportsman's Grill fired up and ready to go. Got our uh, burger seasoned. I got the damper door completely closed to start with here. Our burgers are nice and cold. We just oiled up that grill. Uh, we're going to start them out nice and gentle because you know how burgers like to flare up, right? We're going to try to prevent most of that. Go ahead. There's the two about half pound burgers. The deer bacon vidalia onion burgers and man they smell great already a couple minutes they've been really calm little flame up but that's what makes this beautiful sear on the burgers and that's what we're looking for if you want to sear it on the outside juicy on the inside Yeah, this is like a survival bread recipe right here, modified. Okay, you're gonna need a nice hearty bun for this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and just slice these and I'll butter them. And then uh, put them up on the grill real quick. It's gonna be a bun for our beautiful venison burgers. All right, let's get some butter on 
and we'll throw them on a grill. All right, guys, let's go ahead and assemble our beautiful venison Vidalia bacon burger. I'm going to do this. Here's some of our uh, homemade buns. That's sourdough. Sourdough bun. Really hearty. Some mayo on that guy right there. Coming right in with our burger on top there. And then... Uh, Hit the top there with a little mayo also. Now I love me some pickles, but build whatever you like for your burger. There's some uh, sliced dill pickle spears. Oh my god. There's our top. That's a mouthful right there. For side we got sweet potato tots right straight off the camp stove over there. With some hot grease. Again, serve your favorite side with this. That's a beautiful meal right there that we made completely from scratch, including the burger and the bread. There's no way you're eating that burger. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give that a try. If I can even get my mouth around it, that's a nice burger. Unbelievable. So if you just got your deer out there, bow hunting season, or just hunting season, you want to make something out of it really good and try this dish with the Vidalia onion bacon venison burger on some homemade bread. Can't get no better than that. So a couple videos ago, uh, we were camping at Red Top Mountain State Park and cooked up a beautiful Dutch oven dish. And I had a little kind of a contest in that video of how many times he saw this guy since it was Halloween week, Mr. Pumpkinhead. It's been a couple weeks. Let everybody have an opportunity to comment on that. And now I'm going to tell you who won. And the winner, the only one to correctly guess 11 times. And uh, if you want to go back and look at that video, 11 times, Mr. Pumpkinhead's in that video. Stan Irvin, the only one who guessed 11 times. But we did have a runner up. And that was Chad Robinson, 45. He guessed 10 times, which I'll kind of call that. You know, it was a couple times he just, you know, I walked through the scene. You've seen it, but you didn't see him. Uh, but the, a lot of people played along with us on that. And I'll give a shout out to the, them also. Betty in Arkansas, Chris Sewell, Michael Klein, Fred Fleming, Matthew Callahan, and Robert Wayman. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I know how you guys uh, always comment on stuff in the background here that we never even see. So uh, thanks for watching. We're going to do some more of that, so y'all stay tuned. That was a really great venison dish, one of the best I've had in quite a while. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel. You can do it right here for another great Back with Score Bay video. It's going to be over there. And for a whole playlist of cooking on this Sportsman's Grill, gonna be right over there. We'll see you next time.